Hello chess lovers! In this video I would like to show you the legal trap, which is probably the most famous trap in chess. The trap is named after the French player Sire de Legal. Let's see how it goes. White is starting with e4, e5 by black, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, we see the Italian game, d6, knight c3, and here many players prefer to place the bishop on g4 square, pinning the knight. White is playing h3, and a logical response by a black bishop h5, still keeping the pin. But this bishop h5 move is actually a bad move which gives white a chance to gain advantage. And here white is going for this mind-blowing knight takes e5 move, sacrificing the queen. Bishop takes d1, well if a move like knight takes e5, then white can capture on h5, if knight takes c4 then queen b5 check, and then winning back the piece, and white has an extra pawn and also a more active position. Let's go back, after bishop h5 we see knight takes e5, by the way, playing first h3 and then knight takes e5 is very important. Now I will show you the difference. After bishop g4, if you play knight takes e5 straight away, then after knight takes e5, of course if black captures on d1, then again this is losing, but after knight takes e5, once the bishop is on g4 square, already the knight is protecting the bishop. That's why after bishop g4, white is first playing h3, and only after bishop h5, white goes for this knight e5 sacrifice. Bishop takes d1, here we go, bishop takes f7 check, king e7, and knight d5 checkmate. Look at this fantastic checkmate on the board. It is said that Henry Blackburn, who was one of the world's top 5 players in the latter part of the 19th century, successfully used this trap several times. One author even writes that Blackburn sprang it several hundreds of times during his annual tours. Actually, this checkmate looks brutal. Look at this beauty. If you enjoy this beautiful trap and find it useful, don't forget to give the thumbs up or subscribe to my channel, more traps are coming. Good luck.